Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start a multi-part series on basic web development. Now, I've had a lot of my subscribers ask me, hey, Mike, can you do some web development tutorials which involve HTML, PHP, and basic databasing? And I said, sure, we're going to start that series, and that series is starting now. And I've also had a number of subscribers ask, hey, can you do it for free? I went, wow. What do you mean by that? Can you show us how to develop websites, nice ones, using free software open source solutions and I'm gonna do that but I'm also gonna lead you to the ones that I think are best on the commercial side and right now we're looking at a, a web page development done in composer which is a free uh, HTML editor that you can get from uh, Firefox and it's actually called sea monkeys and we'll go and do that but let's talk about the ABC's of web development here are the ABC's of web development the first thing you want to do as a web developer is get a server, something to put your web stuff up on so people can view it. And uh, one I use, and I use it for a number of reasons. One, because it's just so cheap. And if you get into the business and say, I don't like this, uh, you haven't spent much for a server. And that's at www.siteground.com. Also, SiteGround has unlimited MySQL databases, huge amounts of storage space. Doesn't go down that much. I haven't had any problems at all. They get back with you on canned questions within 15 minutes. And uh, also, you have an uh, infinite number of domains and uh, lots of emails. So it's a great uh, site to get started with. It is a shared server. Just like any shared server, don't keep information that you want to protect on it, like social security numbers, credit card numbers, and so what. You want a virtual private server, a dedicated server, or your own in-house server. Now, once you register for that service, you're going to get a address, a username and a password and we're going to need that to actually put your information up on the website. So let's go ahead and take a look at SiteGround real quick. Now I do want to say that I am not a SiteGround salesman. I just use this product because it's a great product and I'm going to tell people about it if it's good. And you just go to their site right here. We're on the SiteGround site www.siteground.com and you can see here for $5.95 a month they have a super package which uh, gives you a free domain name, 750 gigabytes of space, great transfer, unlimited uh, MySQL databases, unlimited email accounts, unlimited subdomains, unlimited FTP accounts, free blog applications, and, and uh, tons of uh, open source solutions. So just, I, I like it uh, for what we're doing. And I just want to talk about this a little bit. I work in education. We literally work with hundreds of sites and we're putting up sites all the time. So you may just want one website up. And so your approach may be a little different than ours. We typically also work on shoestring budgets. So we're trying to come up with the fastest and most cost-efficient methodologies. So you're going to get that from me and just take that and tailor it for your uses. So you might just be running one website and not use some of the techniques we show you. Or you may get into the multiple website business like we do and then this will be useful. So all I have to do is come along here and hit sign up. And it's a three-step process. And they're going to ask you to put in a domain name and they're going to give you a domain name for free. going to tell you if it's available and when, if it is, you're going to enter it in. And then from, or you can transfer your domain name and they'll walk you through that step by step. And just go through the three steps and it's very easy and register. And once they get your money, you'll have a website. Uh, isn't that cool? So once you get that web domain, you should have the following information. An address, a username, and a password. And that's what you need to get working on the web. The next thing you need is a HTML editor. And I'm going to show you where to get a free one. Of course, I use Dreamweaver quite a bit. But uh, for you guys who can't afford Dreamweaver or want to try something else, you can use Composer. Now, if you remember the old days of Netscape, Composer was with it. And it's Composer still alive, and it doesn't look a whole lot different. This is a very simple web editor, but we're going to do a lot with it and show you how to work with it. And that you can get that at www.cmonkey-project.org. Let's go there right now and download um, Composer. And so here's the Cmonkey site and just click on the Windows or whatever operating system that you're using. And you'll get a lot of other stuff with it. Save it to disk, unzip it, go through the install process. It's very simple. And once you do that, you'll have the SeaMonkey 
composer. Let me show you that real quick. I'm going to go down to my menu bar and open up Sea Monkey. And here's the Sea Monkey interface right here. So all I have to do is go to File, New, Compose Page, and here's the free HTM editor. And we're going to use that HTM editor. All right, let's go back to our list and see where we have to go from here. So now that you have your uh, HTML editor, I want you to get an FTP upload software package. Now, I use Dreamweaver, but I also use FileZilla. It's great. So these are the FTP file transfer protocol systems, and uh, you're going to need this once you've created your file in Dreamweaver or in Composer. You're going to want to upload that up to the web, and you can use, do that using FileZilla or Dreamweaver and they work, both of them work great, and I use Fazella and I use Dreamweaver. If you want more information on how to use those, just go to our YouTube videos on using Filezilla to upload files to the web, or our tutorial on using Dreamweaver to FTP. Alright, so let's get started with Composer.